I follow that pathway. Inside an operating room at Virtua so Marlton Hospital. It may look like this doctor is playing Xbox, but Dr. Syed Reyes is navigating through the lungs with robotic assistance. And you can see the scope goes through that endotracheal tube. We are straight shot to the nodule. Lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death. According to the American Cancer Society, each year, more people die of lung cancer than of colon, breast, and prostate cancers combined. How does it begin? It begins as a small nodule and then it grows. Unfortunately, by the time patients are symptomatic, they come with shortness of breath, cough, or they are bringing up uh, blood, it's too late. Patients at high risk, based on age and smoking history, Dr. Reyes says, should get screened with yearly CAT scans to spot any nodules at an early stage. Now, this new Monarch robotic-assisted bronchoscopy will allow doctors to biopsy all of the nodules that are found to see if those samples or lung cancer. The tube which goes inside your wind, wind pipes, we call airways, basically it's a flexible tube, it's a soft tube, and it has camera at the tip. The difference from uh, the previous bronchoscopies is, I as an operator was holding that tube or the bronchoscope, when you are driving, you're watching on the screen and you're driving, like you're driving a car, you see what's in front of you. Now, the things have changed. I'm not holding the scope. The scope is here. The, uh, these are the robot arms. Without this robot, Dr. Reyes explains, it was virtually impossible to take a biopsy sample of certain nodules because of sharp turns. The target was in sight, but you could not reach it. That all changes with this new technology. I can make any angle which uh, we want, and that will help us to diagnose the lung cancers at an early stage. The data right now suggests that from 60 to 65 percent, the ability to reach those nodules has increased from 80 to 90 percent. This non-surgical procedure is planned beforehand, so doctors know where to look. I'm moving, and you can see the screen is moving on this side. Now I need to move forward. So I push the forward button, and you can see the scope is moving. So this is all I hold. You can see the bronchoscope, the patient is far away from me. Watch as the line on the top right side of the screen moves closer to the target. The doctor is controlling it until he reaches the lesion. When you have the target and you are one and a half, two centimeters away from the target, you basically park it there or you put in the pause mode mm -hmm. so it will not move. Now I can put my, my controller on the stand, Mayo stand, and then all the tools can be introduced through the working channel. So these are the tools we usually start with uh, either needle, brush, and then we are right at the lesion. I take the bite, you can see that. I'm taking the piece. Once we have the samples, obviously they get sent to the pathologist. Once my pathologist says, yes, it's a lung cancer, then we can send those patients to our surgical colleague. Virtua is only the second hospital in the state to have this technology, and it may serve another vital purpose soon. The team behind it says they're now working on a way to introduce new therapeutics for lung cancer through this machine to drastically speed up the time it takes to go from diagnosis to treatment. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Leah Mishkin. Support for the Medical Report is provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association.